<gasps> Happy World Book Day! <laughs> that was close enough. Hi, everybody. My name is Gordon. I'm the patron of reading at Durham Nethered School. This is Aoife, who is kind of a patron of reading too, aren't you? You love books. Do you love this one? <laughs> and we just wanted to send a very quick video to celebrate World Book Day and to celebrate the joy of reading. It really is amazing. I just want to talk very quickly. It, it, yeah, yeah, it is definitely. And I want to talk very quickly about three reasons why reading has been so important to me and especially this past year. It's been a tough year, hasn't it? Not for you, you've been fine. But it's been a quite a tough year. And uh, I think reading has kind of, you know, it's helped me get through it for three reasons. I think the first reason is that reading helps you escape, doesn't it? Nothing better than reading a good book, is it? Because you can just kind of switch off and travel anywhere you like. If you're feeling like you're locked down this year, has been a bit of a lockdown year, hasn't it? Uh, reading helps you escape. It helps you, you can open up a book and you can go anywhere. And I love that about reading. If you're feeling kind of uh, imprisoned, then books are the key to helping you escape. Uh, that is the first reason I love to read. That it, it can take you anywhere. You never feel locked down when you've got a book. Uh, you can lose yourself in a book, can't you? But you can also find yourself as well. That's the other reason I love reading, is because it helps you find your courage. Now, this has been a really bad year for me uh, and lots of other people too. And I think, are you off? <laughs> are you going? Yeah, I had enough of books. Um, uh, so reading has, has really helped me this year because I think when you're feeling uh, afraid, and you know, I think lots of people have felt afraid this year. It's been a very scary year. Um, reading helps you find your courage. You can't read a book and not feel inspired by the people you see there, the characters you see there, and the amazing things they do. Uh, I love to read because I love to be inspired by those people. And reading gives me courage. I think reading helps you find your courage. It helps you to be a hero, even if that heroism is just standing up to your everyday life, like we've all been doing this past year. And the last reason, reason, no? <laughs> the last reason, gonna ruin my beautiful we're not in uh, our house we're in an airbnb while we get work done in our house this is this is the best i could do with what i found in the house and um, the last reason i love to read is um you know this has been quite a lonely year i think a lot of us have felt that we are maybe uh, it's not falling it'll be all right a lot of us has felt like we you know we've been on our own we've been locked down with our families as much as we love them we haven't maybe been able to see the people we love uh, we haven't been able to see our friends we haven't been able to see other members of our family and other people and it has been quite lonely and, and it can feel quite lonely and i think the real joy of reading is that it brings people together sharing stories is what we do as human beings this is what makes us human this the ability to share stories and we can still do that thanks to books we can still read books and share these stories and it's more than that it's about reading a book it teaches you that no matter what is going on in your life no matter how hard things are no matter how alone you feel you are never truly alone and that is the real power of books is you can go into those books you need the toilet. Thank you for thank you for saying that in the middle of my, my speech. Um, uh, <laughs> I better hurry up then. But all right, I will come to help you in the toilet in a minute. Um, uh, so uh, so yeah, so reading. You 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 get started. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I've completely lost my train of thought. Now this is this has been my year uh, looking after children and um, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my head together. But this is again, this is the real power of books is that it teaches you that however, however difficult things feel, you're not alone and nobody is alone. Books bring us together and these shared stories are what make us human. So if you're ever feeling a bit like that, then just pick up a book and, and you'll be amazed at what the characters in that story can teach you and what you can share with those characters and, and the feeling you get afterwards that, you know what, I've been through something with somebody, uh, these characters, and now I can share it with all the other people who've read that book. So stories really do bring us together. Books bring us together. I hope you find some amazing books to read this year. I really do. And just remember, there are millions of books out there. And sometimes it takes a while to find the right one. But there is a perfect book out there for you. And sometimes you might have to read or start 100 books before you find the one that's right for you. And if you start 100 books and don't get past the first few chapters, that is absolutely fine. Because there is no shame in putting it away and, uh, and turning to the next one. Because sooner or later you will find a book that changes your life. Um, so we had a big finale planned. Um, same World Book Day, but she's gone. She's, 
He's on the toilet. So, uh, so yeah, I, I'll just do it by myself. Happy World Book Day, everybody. Um, I hope to see you all very soon. Uh, I miss you and I just miss, miss people in general. So I'm really looking forward to things returning to normal. Find a book, keep reading, stay awesome and uh, yeah, take care.